Hey guys, I'm Tim with Original Street, and this week I wanted to give you a movement tip that, well, it's a tip that helps your movement, but it's not necessarily a movement demonstration that we've been doing. And, you know, listen, every video can't be a life-altering, life-changing video, or can it? Because this one's going to be if, if you track with me. Anyway, so did you know that how you feel affects how you move? And, and, and I don't want you just to believe me. I want you to experience this. So let's say, for instance, smiling. Smiling can affect how you move, and it can help you move better. And so I'm going to show you how to test this for yourself. So I'm going to not smile. I'm not smiling at all and I'm gonna test my shoulder flexion, okay? So there it is. You see where it's at? All right, now I'm going to smile at you. Hi, how you doing? I'm smiling now. And I'm gonna test my shoulder flexion. That's different, right? So, and I know you're thinking, Tim, psh, you're just doing that, but I'm not just doing that. So I want you to do it. So I want you to test your range of motion. You can test shoulder flexion, or you can test a toe touch without smiling, no smile, and then you can test it smiling, smile. And notice what a difference, a smile, how it affects how your body moves. And then I want you to think about what that might mean for how you approach your movement daily or what that might mean for how you approach your day. So if something simple like smiling can help you move better, I don't know, what does that mean? Now, you can also test this. If you can make yourself angry, and I, I, I don't want to make myself angry because I know what it'll do, and this, with, this is a dramatization. If I make myself angry, my range of motion is going to be somewhere out here. So, but happy, my range of motion is somewhere up here. So think about the consequences of how, you, how your emotions or your attitude affects how you move. So if you go into a training session or a movement session with a bad attitude, you're not going to get a lot out of it. Matter of fact, you could probably set yourself up for even an injury, even though you're trying to do something good for yourself physically. But if you go into a training session or a movement session with a good attitude or a smile on your face, you're probably going to have a very awesome movement session. But let's get even crazier. What if you go into a conversation with a good attitude and a smile on your face? So it's not, smiling in your attitude doesn't just affect how you move. It affects every single thing about you. It affects your entire, how your body functions. It affects your nervous system, your immune system. It affects your interactions with others. So that's our movement tip this week. And it's really not a movement tip. And you're probably going to think, Tim, I don't need you preaching to me. And I'm not really trying to preach to you. I just wanted to show you how a smile can affect how you move. And it, it's so much bigger than how you move. All right. So give that a shot test your smile or your anger or your your sadness with how you move test a toe touch a squat shoulder range of motion test something prove to yourself what a difference your attitude and your emotions make all right i'm tim with original strength and we'll see you next time smile